Hi, I'm Black Bright. Welcome to my channel. If it's the first time you're passing through, you'll find that I have a lighter side, which is Love Island, and I have a dark side, um, which is more to do with more serious stuff like political stuff and things that are happening in the news. And I give my little opinion on both. So, yes, this is the Love Island part of me, and it's called the dark side of Love Island because originally I was going to talk about... Um, the black people in Love Island and then I decided to say nah because I need to include everyone so I've kept the darker side of Love Island just for the hell of it because sometimes there's some mischief going on but other than that that's the only reason now anyway what about tonight honestly anybody had thought anybody would think that Callum had committed a crime I mean the way that their jaws it was almost like he's not human like, he's not allowed. Everybody else can bring in another woman, but he's not allowed. He, for some reason, I don't know why they're so overprotective of Shauna. Because even with Maz, they're saying, oh, I understand. You've got to go with how you feel. So why doesn't that apply to Callum? I don't get it. Callum has done nothing wrong. He doesn't owe anything to Shauna. They all go into the Love Island to find love. That is the whole purpose. And I think it's really bad, you know, when they guilt throw and make men or women feel uncomfortable just because they're getting on with someone else. I think it's really selfish. I mean, supposing they had met somebody who they liked. Are they going to start saying, oh, I feel a bit uncomfortable? I mean, poor Naz, he's tried to be respectful, but bloody hell, aren't they loud kissers? Why do they have to bloody kiss so loud? So irritating. But yeah, so Demi starts putting on um, the guilt throwing on Naz, talking about, oh, I think it's really disrespectful for you to kiss me in front of her. They're coupled up, get a life or get out. Shauna, she's doing my head in. I mean, all that balling and ah oh, it's so pathetic grow some balls and if you can't handle it leave the kitchen you know I, I just don't have and the thing is she goes oh it always happens it always happens why am I always the one well if you're always the one you better start looking at yourself girl because it can't always be the guys, it has to be you. You have to start looking, what am I doing that is causing men to choose someone else? Then you'll find it's your insecurity. It's the fact that you're running them down every minute and put, make, forcing them to do things that they don't want to do. You have to back off a little bit. But oh no, Sean is right in there. And now she's being so upset and mad. Who the hell does she think she is? She doesn't own Callum. It's not like it's his wife. Goodness gracious, I've never seen anything like it. And then, did you notice when all the guys came and they all came around Shauna? Honestly, if they were all in black, I would have swear they were going to a funeral. I mean, it's, at, it's almost like they're all in mourning. What is wrong with them? There has to be something that we're not seeing. Why Shauna is so bloody delicate and why they have to keep reassuring her. I mean, so it's not only, it's not even only the men that sh that um, she requires reassurance from. It's like the women have to keep endorsing her and validating her. You can't go through life like that. You need to kind of look at yourself and find well, what's wrong. What is making you feel that way? What is making you feel as though other people look better than you? She was always saying, oh, they're going to have some beautiful girls come in and oh, they're going to be lovely and they're going to be this and that. Does that mean that she sees herself as inferior? And if she does, what the hell is she doing in Love Island? She must have thought she was relatively attractive to go on Love Island. So what's happened? I don't know. I don't know. Girls will be girls and boys will be boys. 
So, what did I write down? Um, I put up Zoe's committed a crime. But seriously, the way Shauna's going on, I would leave if she's going to be that miserable. Wouldn't you? I would. I mean, if you think there's no one's going to come in, and the thing is, you know what's going to make me laugh? In a couple of days, she's just going to get over it. So it's just such a load of crap, such a load of drama. Um, what else was I going to say? Apart from she's got the victim mentality, and she does have the victim mentality. Oh, did you see my boy Luke T stroking Shanice's face? He's so gentle. He's so caring. Oh, <laughs> you don't normally see that though. He's so, you know, with him, he's so sensitive. And even with Shauna, do you want a hug? Do you want a cuddle? He is so sensitive. He's got, oh, I ain't even going to say anymore because a lot of people don't agree with me, but each to their own. Um... What else? They come into villa, but yeah, they come into the villa to find love, and yet they have to be restricted. Poor old Callum, he can't even get it on with Molly because that Shauna's there giving her the beady eyes. I wonder what's going to happen in the conversation. Did you see Molly's face? Talk about stern. I mean, really and truly, I wouldn't. I can't even be asked if I was Molly. I, you know, and I face that. I probably think, you know what? Let's forget it. Because I really don't need to be sitting there looking at your miserable face. You're either going to come and talk. You've only known the boy bloody three weeks. You don't own him. So I don't even know why Sean is putting on that face as if to. It's almost like she's accusing without saying anything. And the thing is, you know what makes me laugh? These girls expect these other girls to have loyalties. Why? They don't even know them from Adam. Oh, what else have I got here? They're talking about discreet versus respectful. So they're trying to be discreet by going underneath the covers, but it's still not respectful because she can hear the kissing. That's Demi. And then Demi's making out like she's handling it well. And then now she's going out. Oh, she's going to tell Naz how she feels. Those girls. Those girls. You know, there's something wrong with them, honestly. Something wrong with them. I know Luke T. What's wrong with Luke T and the girls, man? He's such a nice bloke. And now Natalia don't even want him. First it was Jess, now it's Natalia. I don't know what's wrong, why they don't connect with him. I think it's because he's just too, um, I'm not going to say respectful because that's the wrong word, but I think he allows the women to take the lead too much. He's, he's just too, he's not assertive enough. That's what I think. Because even when... Um, with Natalia and they told her to go up and kiss her and she, he's like oh she, she said something about oh she wants to take it slow so he, he bottled it but I think he needs a bit of oomph you know his appearance doesn't go with his personality I shouldn't even say that really but he just needs a bit of gumption you know he needs to grow some balls or he needs to do something because I don't understand why the girls don't like him. Now that one, Natalia now, but I knew, didn't I say it in a previous video? I knew she didn't like him. But she says, oh, I want to take it slow. Anytime you hear one of those girls say, I want to take it slow, you know they don't like the bloke because when there's chemistry, there's chemistry. And if there's chemistry, you, there's no time factor. You don't have to think, oh, well, I've got to wait. I've got to wait two days. I've got to see how it feels. I've got to get into it. If you're attracted to someone, you're attracted to them. You don't have to force it. And if you're not feeling it, it's no point saying, oh, I want to see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. Let's wait and see. I'm taking my time. You're taking your time because you're not attracted to the bloke. 
But you've got yourself in the villa now, and poor old Lutzi. I'm sure he'll find someone soon. He's got to find someone soon, but maybe. Don't know if you like Demi. Is he going to really want Naz's cast-offs? Probably not. Hmm. What else is there? Um, always the girl that gets mugged off. Oh, that's bloody Shauna. I wonder why. Oh, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I was just thinking when um, Shauna and Molly went to went to um go for their chat. Did you notice they were nearly dressed the same? Same little denim jacket, both in white. Yeah. So anyway, I think, I don't know, I'm not even going to belabor that. I think I've said all there is to say about tonight. On Sunday, we'll have to wait and see how it goes with Molly and Shauna. But really, if Shauna's going to look like a slapped ass through the rest of the bloody programme, she needs to get off the show. Or they need to bring someone in. But I can't even imagine her getting it on with someone else. I just cannot imagine. She's got so many hang-ups. And if she thinks, oh, it always happens to me, she's already going there with trust issues. And then she had the audacity to say, oh, if he was a... I should have known I couldn't trust a scaffolder. They're so insulting. And then I can't get over Mike. That's what I'm saying. Mike... He's all kind of sucking up to Jess after after she insulted him. Oh, I think he's a people pleaser. That's what I think. Doesn't want to rock the boat. Wants to be come over as a nice guy. Because if that was me, I'd say, listen, I didn't like what you said. I felt quite insulted. Anyway, that's all I've got to say about Love Island. And I um, hope you have a nice weekend and speak to you soon. Bye bye.